We kick off our $1 million showcase with the Brigitte Bardot. No, not the iconic French actor, model, singer, animal rights activist, but a yacht named after her. At least, that's what it's been called since 2011. Previously, it's been christened Rat Race Media Adventurer, Ocean 7 Adventurer, and Cable and Wireless Adventurer. Built in 1998 by the company now known as VT Group, it was created to break the Guinness World Record of circumnavigating the globe the quickest, which it achieved in 74 days, 20 hours, and 58 minutes. Since 2010, the boat has been operated by Sea Shepherd Conservation Society. They bought the futuristic-looking vessel for $4 million at the time. They used Bardot as an anti-whaling ship, but now it's up for sale. At nearly 109 feet in length, the Bardo has six cabins altogether with room for 12 people. Since it's been operated as a working vessel by a non-profit organization, the interior isn't luxurious, but it is practical. Bardo is safe to reach speeds of 25 knots, nearly 29 miles per hour, and has a top range of 3,500 nautical miles or 4,028 miles. In 2020, Bardo was on the market for 1.5 million. Today, you can save a dollar by getting it for $999,999. Over in the Uber Wealthy section, we have a super yacht that's owned by one of the rulers of the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan. Launched in 2013, the boat named Azam is one of the most expensive yachts in the world, and it even holds the Guinness World Record for the longest privately owned yacht at a whopping 590 feet. The vessel was built by Lursen Yachts, with luxurious touches in mind throughout its open plan. It took four years to create the Azam and required 4,000 people working on it all together. Able to hold 36 guests and an additional 60 crew, it has one of the largest capacities for a private boat as well. The vessel was created to be more environmentally friendly. As such, there's decreased carbon dioxide and soda emissions, as well as creating less noise pollution. According to some reports, the ASM uses waste heat from the engine that's transferred to the desalination system for drinking water. The super yacht is also very quick. It's able to reach 30 knots or 35 miles per hour. The cost of building the ASM is said to be $600 million. As such, its sale price is likely to be close to the $1 billion mark. If you want a ship with history, you won't go wrong with the Kelpie of Falmouth. After all, it was built nearly 100 years ago. Created in 1928, it was originally named Hopeful. The sailing yacht even aided the U.S. Coast Guard during World War II, and apparently never missed a day's service. Fast forward to 2012, the Kelpie was found run down in California and was moved to Cornwall, England. Over the next 18 months, it was restored to its former glory. So much so that it picked up an award in 2014 for its restoration work. It's even won a number of regattas since. The near 79-foot-long Kelpie is able to hold six guests altogether. There's a master suite and two cabins that each have an ensuite shower. There's further space for an additional two crew members. The interior took inspiration from the decade it was created, with leather seating and dark wood throughout. During 2019, the Kelpie of Falmouth was put on the market. Soon after, it was sold. The original listing has an asking price of 950,000 euros, or 1.1 million. Today, the vessel is available for charter and has even held weddings on board. Next up in the Billion Dollar Club is the phenomenal super yacht Eclipse. Built by Blom and Voss, the interiors were designed by Terence Disdale Design and Greenlight Yacht Interiors. It first launched in 2009 and held the record of the longest yacht at 533 feet until Azam came along. The Eclipse is owned by Chelsea Football Club owner Roman Abramovich. The vessel has 18 cabins for around 36 guests in total. Each room is said to come with its own cinema experience and hot tub. There's also accommodation for a reported 50 crew altogether. The Eclipse has many extra facilities to cater to the needs of its many guests. There's a gym, two swimming pools with one that can be converted into a dance floor, a beauty salon, a jacuzzi on the deck, and more. The ship is even said to be covered in armor, has bulletproof windows, and an anti-paparazzi shield that disrupts photography. The Eclipse also has a tender garage that can house six vessels. There's even space for a mini submarine and three helicopters. In 2009, the press speculated that Abramovich spent nearly $600 million on the ship being built. Today, the ship is stated to have a value of $1.5 billion. Let's say you have a million dollars and want to charter a ship for a whole year with that cash. Well, you could perhaps rent the Carpe Diem 5 and live out of your inner Jack Sparrow. With six cabins, the boat can host 12 guests altogether, with space for a further six members of crew. Along with water toys like two canoes and a water ski, there's also a sauna on board. 
The ship cost $33,000 per week for the year. This would set you back $1.7 million. If that's a little much, there's the Emerald, which looks like it's been converted from a tourist boat to becoming a private luxury vessel. There's three double cabins and one twin for a total of eight guests altogether. There's also space for four crew. The 85-foot Emerald was built in 1957 and costs around $24,000 per week, giving us a yearly cost of $1.25 million. First up in our $1 billion charter club, we have the Scenic Eclipse. It's stated to be a luxury cruise explorer yacht that takes guests to the Antarctic to see the wildlife there. There are 114 suites on board that can house 200 guests with space for an extra 176 crew. The 551-foot ship has a number of extra features on board, including a spa, a cinema, and a fitness center. They even offer expeditions on kayak, submarine, and helicopter. Prices start at 1.75 million euros or 2.1 million a week for the year. That'll make it $109.2 million. Finally, we have the most expensive ship to charter in the world, the Flying Fox. On top of its great name, it offers 11 cabins for 22 guests, but the number can be extended to 36 on request. There's also space for 54 crew. The 447-foot-long Fox has a 39-foot swimming pool. Also on board, there's a cinema, private jacuzzi, a two-floor spa, a dive center, a sea lounge, a sauna, a gym, and more. Just one week costs 3.5 million euros, or around $4.2 million. For a year, that's 218.4 million. Here's our final fact finish. One of the most ambitious super yacht designs that took the internet by storm was the streets of Monaco. Created to mimic the city-state, the blueprint was created by Yacht Island Design back in 2011. The boat would have four decks and be a massive 509 feet long. Estimations at the time slated it would cost $1 billion to build. Today, 